towards Whitehall's into Boiler now. Look at this though, IV Presence. And that's gonna be Zeus playing that as the CT alone. Can VP try to get in there and get the trade? That could force some more rotations outside. Because Navi went very, very heavy towards the inner bomb site with three, not something you see often. And yes, the kill from Ivy does come in. A player up in CT heaven, that could be rough. Flamey locking it down with two, and that way, yeah, he's the player that's up there. He finds two, almost at third. Oh. Having to reload, they go for the knife! <laughs> Flamey, though, with the third. And a two on two now, just like that. And uh, yeah, very nice smile there in the chat. Pasha, though, beautiful shot. Edward on the side of that old bomb train. It gets obliterated. And are they just gonna, yeah, one going Z to enter, the other kind of chilling there around CT still. Trying to just make Guardian's rotation a lot slower, a lot more difficult. Guardian looking for that one tap, nearly finds it. It was a very tough shot. And there it is, 2v1. Guardian, he's already in. He does have a kit as well, kit and yep. armor. So this is possible for him. You know, two bullets could win him this round. Still trying to work around the back of that lower train. Uh, also, Neo, just some nice hops on the other side of that bomb. Train getting around. He's got them low. He's gonna touch the bomb. I don't know what the silencer was about. I think he'd kind of given up at that point. <laughs> like, he kind of realized what was going on. That was actually really clever from VP. They, they gave themselves so many options across the map, like sending two players towards Ivy and having the bomb towards inside. The, I think the plan was that if we get the kill at Ivy straight away, we're gonna fall back, go outside together. And if it went wrong, they had the opportunity to go inside and try to get the bomb down as a consolation. So it was great from them going outside. Then when it came down to a closer situation, a 2v1. Run off, guns the bomb down inside. It was a foregone conclusion at that point. Very difficult to retake as a single man of USP. But yeah, amazing start from VP. We can see uh, Navi have actually force bought this. They've got a scout on Flamey, which is interesting. Why they wouldn't give it to Guardian. Um, but they've got five sevens across the board on every other player. Yeah, I have noticed. Uh, obviously, we saw Flamey with the op a couple times, but he does seem to like oh, to go there for we go. that that's scout. Why. And that's probably why you give it to him, just like that from uh, Ivy here, able to find a, a shot onto Bialy. Trying to get across, it will not pan out. Now Pasha trying to take a look as well, and he will hit the shot, expecting Flamey, you know, has already got the kill to be looking for another one. And that'll even it right back up. Zeus in a really good spot. It's Guardian now having picked up that scout and doing some work with it as well. VP struggling to get in through Ivy. The barrel's been spotted. Zeus knows what's going on, but Zeus a little impatient perhaps. Thought he was maybe spotted. Tries to peek out. Neo brings him down. Three on two now. In favor of Na'Vi, this is, well, it could be what happened on Overpass. Maybe you got that first really pistol. interesting then. approach to Antico run, right? Like he's going one by one yet again, getting taken down, and then this is just all falls apart. Like, you're better off just choosing a position to go and just making sure you get the, the use the advantage oh, of the guns behind. to drop. Like, going inside in that sort of situation, like, as soon as you worked out as a scout, they probably just need to group up, choose where to go, and execute together. Then they just fell apart, started trying to go into all sorts of choke points one by one, and it just fell horribly for them. But... There we go. Now, this is exactly what happened last map. So, VP took the pistol and then Navi answered straight back. And unfortunately for VP, it's going to be very difficult for them considering they're on the T side of train. And you want to try and get as many rounds as you can on that side. And I think VP, if you're able, or any team really, on the T side, if you're off to a good start, you can kind of limit the economy of that CT side. Very yeah. much just like we saw B round after round after round. Navi not able to throw smokes mollies uh, as a response. I mean, you can abuse that as a terrorist to, on both bomb sites on train. So, that could maybe put them on hard times, but let's see. Navi now with those rifles, not going for a single SMG, even though they know they gotta be expecting just armored pistols. Maybe not so much the scout from Neo, though they did get a glimpse of it on overpass. Let's see, they're trying to work their way out. A beautiful pop flash. Seas has never been so blind in his life. Guardian, can he get a double? No, limited to just one frag here. Uh-oh, we might have a crazy start to this game. Flamey, though, still from behind. He'll bring it back to the two on two. Taz has picked up the M4. Good grenade coming in. Pasha over in Z. He's about to get Zeus in the side of the head. He comes. There he goes. Zeus almost survived by sheer luck, just jumping and throwing off the aim, but still brought down. And Flamey, 1v2. This is going to be tough, and Taz wow. will do okay. it. So, VP. Back and forth. No problem. Four spies. You can see a, a little pause coming in here. Maybe that's just kind of work out what the hell's going on this game. Yeah, Try to slow the pace down a little bit. Crazy stuff there. So we saw the force buy from Navi in the first, the second round there. They won that one. VP answers straight back with a scout of their own and just get into the inside bomb site, going frag for frag as well. And then Pasha doing that lurk outside and coming through the Z holes there. Like that was perfect from him. Got the a very big important frag in the back. And uh, there we go. They, they actually claw themselves back into this. You can look at the economy on Navi now. They're looking down the barrel of a very difficult start because they're going to have 2k now and it's going to be a, a, a force by next round. They won't be able to get an AWP next round, so interesting stuff for them. 
Yeah, you always got to watch out for Pasha when VP are setting up for their uh, either fast or slow intertakes. Pasha's always watching the ladder, and he's always willing to make the play of going down it. Uh, and you got two possibilities. He either spots a player and he'll just back off, help his team enter, or he'll take a little aim battle, slow them down. Yep. Or no one's there and he flanks, like we saw in that case. So it's such a position to exploit. Ladder is actually really unique, right? I, I like that spot on train. Get to A oh or God, B. It's another real quick. force by from Navi. <laughs> They're answering straight back with scouts of their own. This could be a very crazy game if they pull this one off. I mean, already losing that second round from the terrorist perspective, I think that's almost better than you know just winning the pistol because it, yeah, yeah, the, the it makes a very awkward now. decision, yeah. and they've all already went for the force by. So if they lose this, they're off to a super rough start, and VP could get that momentum early on on the T side. So they've got those smokes down uh, towards the back of that green chain in between the others. They've got snacks pushed all the way to the back of green and still oh, fall Pasha though there to pick up the pieces four on two now oh Guardian moving through almost able to find two still potential Neo goes up onto the top of the train utilizing those ladders and Pasha finds Guardian and maybe some of his confusion and another there so God, it's VP an absolute... just obliterate that force up from Navi hell star for Navi now the force by that I, I have to question that I know it, it worked reasonably well against the, the first buy against VP, that's because you get, they have SMGs and a scout of their own and Galils. When they've got AKs running around, it's be very difficult to even get a couple of kills there. And now you can see they have 2k across the board. They're going to get two PT-50s here, but ultimately it's going to be a throwaway round. As long as VP don't do anything too silly, I think going outside together is actually a perfect call. It looks like they have to go fast outside, yep. go frag for frag, get the bomb down. It'd be almost impossible for um, Navi to get back into this one. The Guardian actually gets a frag of his own. And uh, here we go now. It's going to get a little bit crazy. Smokes have gone down now. We can see defensive positions from Navi getting employed. All right, so they have got the kills at the CT side, but they can't actually push forward to find those rifles. So they're still outgunned. Pasha now coming in from behind. Looks like that will be that. Three people, again, to survive to stacks. Is there a rifle for him to pick up still on the MAC-10? Uh, looks like... Well, okay, peace, MAC-10. Not going to do you much good on this round where Navi will be buying, but now this is a situation. No smokes, no Molotovs. If VP put a, a solid you know, smoke wall down or something like that, there's going to be no response. It could be overpass B site all over again. I don't think we've got a single kit on Navi either. So if the bomb goes down, they're in a world of trouble as well. Like, what's the response going to be here? They haven't got anything to hold them off, especially a fast push. There's no Molotovs. There's no smokes really to hold them back. So this is going to be a very important round. And like Navi have got themselves in the worst possible start they could have expected. Yeah. All right. So we do see two players for VP back towards uh, you know the dumpster, basically in T spawn, watching the mid and IV push, and the others up at ladders. So. They look like they maybe will try to split A initially, but tons of time perhaps trying to bait out an uh, aggressive play. Maybe Guardian. Guardian looking to push here. Going to peek into two, taking that damage. He's going to have to smoke himself. There's three people there ready to go. They kind of know Guardian's out of position, so Snacks will just smoke and run out lower. The Molotov there forcing him back. Seize, though. They did double up on Inner, and Seize on top of the train finds Snacks. So very good play from Seize finding that kill and quickly going down ladder outside because there was a very fast rotation to enter and there's really no one here. There was a back Ivy player in Z and Pasha Bialy coming in, hitting those entries. They've got the man advantage again. Molotov's down, stopping that push. Oh, Pasha just been on point. Two entries, finally falls. Two on two, but look at the HP right now on Navi and as you pointed out early on, no kits. Five HP, Taz closes it out. I don't know what to say here. Like, that was a, another round. It's a question of Force 5. You've got no incendiaries even hold T's off. C's managed to pick up an early frag there, so some sort of consolation. A good start at the round for him. But look at this now. 5-1 on the T side of train. And again, they're going to have to do yet another eco. Another save. It couldn't have gone any worse for Navi right now. And they haven't even been able to get an orb out. Like, last gun round, they had, I think, they had one player on 4,900. But it would have been a glass cannon and that sort of situation. They would have had even less money across the board. So uh, a, a save here. They've got a couple of grenades, some CGs. But VP ultimately is to keep on doing what they're doing. Just delay a push, go in together. And there's not really much now we can do. To the and then Taz opens up the fragging of the Zeus. We can see the scout play from Neo going over the MAC-10. Takes down C's there. And now it's a 4 and 3 situation. The other CGs will be oh, outside. Flaming. And pushing pushing up. Yeah, pushing through the flames. Go figure. But Snacks, Pasha, Bialy right there to close it out. And three again to survive. VP could easily get double digits on their T side. And from what I've noticed here, uh, we've seen some, you know, just quick takes, a couple smokes, a couple Molotovs. No, no crazy set play. VP, we see Taz walking around with his book of strats. Hasn't even opened it. This is this the time map. he needs to do it. He knows they're going to have the AWP yeah. now, right? And we saw them lock down Guardian so well on uh, overpass. He didn't even have a look into the game when he was CT. So if they can utilize the same sort of smokes and make sure they know where he plays from, make sure he doesn't even have a shot on you. That's when they're going to do so well here. So what kind of tactic they're going to employ? Neo picking up the orb once again. Didn't like the score, but up too much with the AWP, but he did have a decent show in that
Oh, he tries to go for the smoke, sees that is, and pushing up into it. But they hop up right up on the rail, see over, and again, the first pick now. I mean, okay, B's the easier site to retake, right? But not when the terrorists don't even have to commit. They're still holding back in those halls. Guardian does find one. Neo finds find Zeus just prior to that. And the smokes are even still down. Neo, the shot onto Guardian. It took him a while to get his op going on overpass, but... He, after all, he did drop 30 kills on that first map, and he's been on point starting here on train. Steve, yet again, he was the first man. He's playing a little bit too aggressively there on the lower ramp, getting taken down without any sort of reply. It's uh, kind of disappointing to see him get into the bomb site so quickly. Bomb going down before they've even taken a frag. So, saving guns again. This kind of rings through as what was happening on overpass. You see two players are saving guns after the bomb site. B, in the case of last time, it's actually B this time. Is, uh, that seems to be a problem as well. Yeah, actually, Navi went aggressive everywhere. They, they pushed for the aggressive defense on the outer bomb site. They went for it on inner, but Seize was there by himself. Then a world of pain here. It's going to be a, yet another force by the loss advantage does come, work in their favor here. They yeah. do get it string together. Some sort of a buy. There are some grenades there. Famous there. Two kits on them. So they, there is something to work with here. But the way BP are playing right now, I don't think it's going to be enough. And it looks like it's going to be a full execute outside here. You can see early smoke. Maybe just a fast take outside. Yeah, that's a smoke that'll block off uh, between Bomb and Z. It doesn't look like they really commit behind it. A couple of players ready to go down the ladder. Uh, so they are ready to watch that flank. Snacks in a position to maybe, who is a Zeus pushing through towards those white halls, towards the terrorists. And he's gone up to the fourth position on this box. This could be very good because, you know, as a terrorist, you get into those halls, you're like, oh, let me pull up my smoke and, and throw it. Well, for the set play, maybe he the can thing catch is, like, they've, they've still got three smokes in their, in their arsenal, right? And Navi don't really oh, have no anything to hold. Yeah. Again, like, they're just losing that entry frag. Why are they playing so aggressively this They haven't even gone to go into the bombsite before finding a frag. Now Seize, he hasn't been playing well on this bombsite at all. He'll be the man left there, and they're going to be spread so thinly now. Seize the only man in the inside bombsite. VP just need to keep doing what they're doing. They still have some utility to play with. Smoke off one of the key choke points. That's be inside would be the best call here now. Smoke off the lower ramp. Save your Molotovs to post plant situation, but this is looking horrible for Navi right now. And look at Pasha outside just lurking in the corner. He's just ready to, he's all ready to go right behind them uh, as his, the rest of his team. Well, they can also come outside through the ladder. I don't know. Uh, anything open for, for VP and that's how, oh, Pasha though shut down. Flamey will find him. Taz, now they're going to pull the trigger. They're going outside. Taz needs to bring that spray home, but it's Flamey instead. We'll have to reload, but able to jump to safety. Now Guardian, they completely shut down that ladder attempt. Tasha was kind of the, the key uh, figure for that strategy, yeah, and think, he went down early. Exactly. I think once he got in that position, he probably told the teammates, oh, I've got such a strong position here. There's no way I'm going to get taken down. As soon as they committed, he indeed did get taken down. It fell apart from that point there. It was very obvious when the timer was about 25 seconds. They were forced to come out of the pop dog area, got locked down there. I really would have liked them to go inside there. After getting that initial frag there, there's no uh, yeah, way they're going to rotate. You can get what they had a smoke left as well. Could have smoked down the lower ramp and easily got a bomb down. Seas has not been playing well in that situation, but here we go. A full buy here. And this is a very important round for Navi. If they lose this one, this half someone's over for them. All right, some early days. Back. Trying to control that middle room. Guardian will bring down Neo, so the op battle is won for the side of Navi. He'll go up on top of that green train. He saw that. Oh, was blind, though, just immediately afterwards. Still is very close. Hits that second shot. Now he'll drop off. <laughs> that was right underneath the intercept him and evened it up with a quick double of his own. Now he's on those back halls. Let's see, Snack still on the other side of middle, Taz in ladder. Pasha finding a third kill here, almost a fourth, lighting up Edward. Snacks maybe could have capitalized on it, Taz finally does, and there he is! Oh dear. And Pasha's just been playing incredible. He's yeah. had some amazing rounds. He, he was the one that aced, too, on overpass. Some really explosive rounds as well. It's not even any sort of tactical prowess to go into there. He's just getting himself kills. out there. And like three huge frags open up the round, especially after Guardian. Seemed like he'd, he'd arrived back on the map, got two opening frags as well. Pasha just answers straight back a three of his own. And this is what I was talking about before, like the money's been completely owned for Navi now and Guardian has managed to scrape together an orb somehow but this is this is a round they have to win they have force ball yet again so here we go a very fast round coming up from BP smoking up some key choke points and they'll just be looking to go frag for frag now yeah the Molotov into the back of that CT middle making sure no one can sit up behind that little train stop Pasha now looking to push it oh caught with the smoke but Snacks is right there to save the day and moving forward gonna catch Edward jumping through that smoke trying to make a play get up on that ladder with this Famas it's completely shut down Guardian still up with that up and at this point might have to try to save it 
Is there no? No, he wants this. He's not going down by yeah. the fight in this situation. He knows he has to do something big here. Looking for any frag he can. It's just a matter of time whether VP give him an opportunity. And indeed they will. Pasha goes down there. And now it's a three on two situation. Guardian with the AWP. The bomb is down. And without, oh, Guardian has got a kill. He actually gets one, but it's going to be a foregone conclusion, I'm afraid. Guardian has to save the orb. He has to think about the future rounds. And uh, he was given an opportunity there onto Pasha, but the, with the bomb down, it was just too hard for him to get back into it. Yeah, another double from Pasha. Snacks also with those two kills, and it doesn't look like they'll find Guardian. He was able to move away. Uh, nine rounds for VP. Very close to double digits. And, I mean, already a disaster for Na'Vi, but is there any hope that they can try to bring this yeah, there's back always hope. around? But Look at like, the money, though. Yeah, I mean, like they've saved an orb on Guardian. That's the saving grace here. Yeah, they can potentially play off him. It'll be interesting to see what the other guys buy, whether they go for yet another force. Yeah, I really wouldn't want them to just try and play off the orb. Maybe Guardian plays inside this time with the AWP. The other guys stack yeah. outside. That, for me, would be the best situation here. He can hold the inside and anchor it himself. But the other guys completely stack the inside, uh, the outside bomb site. It looks like Guardian's actually getting a little bit of aggressive play here as well. Going for that opening frag to try and get some early information here. Oh, worked very well indeed. Takes down Taz, and he's going to be staying there as well. And this could be his downfall here. He has to get out of here somehow. Guardian, though, so quick. Does bring home two kills. Edward as well. Uh, him and Flamey both there with their USB. is able to bring him down. And this is not a round that VP are going to want to lose. It looks like they finally crawled their way. Uh, back to even in a two-on-two. -two. They can scoop up that bomb. They do have AKs to worry Seize about. Though. Edward is backing off so far. Seized is behind in such a good spot. He finds Snacks in the back. And Pasha in the confusion, you know, having to look for Snacks. Edward from the other side then. And that's, there it is. Great round. Guardian, about. two kills with the op and the pistol. As long as he's got an op, dude, like anything can happen. He made the perfect play there. He knows he's been favoring the inside bomb side a lot of rounds. Got that aggressive peak as well. And like, as I said, he had to find some well, impossible position to fall back to, but it doesn't really matter if you're Guardian. You can just flick people all day long. Gets two very important frags and seeds with a perfect flank as well, coming towards the back there, taking down one player. And uh, all of a sudden, like, they get themselves a full buy, and that's an incredibly important round for them. So let's see. I don't think we have we seen any aggressive push towards ladder here for the well, CTs. Is oh, Cs? They've gone straight in now inside. Yeah, they're not wow. messing around. Neo though now trying to do the same thing. Can't get two kills. Does only find the one. So Navi now turning a, a new leaf, having a dominating round here, and for the first time perhaps they could actually have money on the CT side. That will be something else. Still one more to drop. The they, yeah, the Navi, you don't want to lose more than two players on a CT win. Yeah, so that's fantastic. Yeah, you've seen they've been losing the inside bombs like, time and time again, not even getting a frag when they come in. So I think they've had a change of mentality there. Let's send three people in. So let's actually contest it. Let's see what they're doing. Let's get some information for, for ourselves. Went in there, got the frags. Neo was locked down with the AWP. Fantastic round for them. I think that's a really good response. It's going to leave VP actually on an eco here as well. So if Navi can get the last two rounds, it actually puts them in a much stronger position. Like They've kind of clawed back into this very nicely. Still not the half you want, but at least you've it's ended not the it half you with want, some momentum. It's some sort of recovery. Look, again, they're doing a three-man push towards Ivy now. They just had enough. They're just trying to just get end the round as quick as possible, not even giving VP any sort of look in. Take down Pasha. But as we say, that all the other players on the other side of the map. And if they can get down inside quickly enough, they're only going to meet one player. They can get in far. Yeah, Seize, though, able to shut this down. Again, going against own armored opponents. So even with the 20 bullets, finds an easy double. And Guardian gets one. Zeus to finish the last one. So up to five rounds. Will be decided here, last round of the half, as a rifle round. Not the strongest one from VP, it's, and it will be all AKs. It's just, I think uh, Navid has thrown the rule book out the window now. It's kind of the thing, right, if us sitting back really isn't working for us. Just stop, stop pushing any position we feel like and just see what happens. As I say that, though, Zeus picks up um, the auto sniper there. I think one, train is one of the strongest w weapons to use it on. Like, you can, all the smokes it, go down, yeah. you, you spam all the choke points, and I don't think it's used enough there. This could be really interesting for Zeus. It's the Scar 20's home map. Yeah. Yeah, straight up, there's no doubt. So I think Pasha was just destroying them, getting in on the back lines and, or finding the entry. So Navi finally trying to take away that map control, but getting aggressive uh, towards Inner, towards Ivy. And now Guardian finds snacks early on in this round. On the other side of that smoke, tries to take a shot through. He'll set up for the harder shot uh, through old bomb <laughs> there. He does hit Taz, he misses down to one HP. A low though with an op, there's still a chance. Zeus with the Scar 20. Brings one home when he finds Bialy. So three on two. Pasha, though, he's been a force to reckon with on this map. That's his 20th kill right there. So a true 20 bomb. And another, the double, bringing it right back. Zeus with 100. And he's on the other side of this train from Neo. And I don't know, th this is train, right? So many things to check. 
it, it could be a coin flip just in the, in the 1v1 on the, the other side. The angle's just working in their favor at all. They warp straight past each other. Zeus going to be probably assume this has gone down outside. I don't know if she has some sort of idea. Takes I, I down Neo. the beeps. And here we go then. One on one situation. Pasha had such a strong half of No but kit. That was the round if he had a kit. I don't know even still if he would have had the confidence to just stick it. Uh, now Pasha will spot him. I'm sure the, it's been communicated where the bomb has been planted for. You can see Pasha just setting up on the back of this yellow train. Zeus trying to get up on that fuel tanker and he does. A smoke to go down, but is it going to go down soon oh. enough? And it works out for Pasha. VP get into the double digits on their T side train. You're absolutely right. The kit there was so instrumental. Had he had had one, he could have just got the full defuse there and had locked it down and everything would have been okay. But such an important round to lose there. 10 rounds as T is phenomenal. You don't really see that much these days. And uh, going into this is the. VP's home map that we expect to see a very strong showing from them on the CT side. Indeed we do. Um, and again, it, it's trained. I talked a little bit before it started about how important uh, managing the money early on is. Like winning the pistol of CT, surviving those anti-eco rounds of the CT so that you can have a good half. And we saw how hard it is from Navi's perspective when they lost that second round, still kept trying to force it, force it, force it. That was it, the problem. And lost on, five right? in a row because it was of a, it. We saw it yesterday happen as well. When you keep forcing rounds and you don't need to, like it worked for them the first time and then they kept answering back and it just that's when it went completely wrong for them. Like the terrorists can afford to get away from it. The economy is a lot easier to manage on that side. But with your CT forcing up scouts and five sevens almost every single round, you're going to find yourself in a pit, and it, that's, they couldn't get themselves out of it. It was too little too late by the time they worked out. If we start being aggressive, we can get the early picks, we can work the round in our favor, but there we go. It's going to be a very strong start going into the second half of VP. If they can get this pistol, I, I actually said this last time, they get the pistol, they actually, it should be a, a solid foregone conclusion, but that's what happened to Navi, and they actually lost the first map. So anything can happen yeah. here. Some crazy things have gone on. Like last, last half, it didn't come down to any sort of tactical craziness. It was just Pasha just running around, kind of just getting free yeah, headshots wherever you went. Yeah, it was. It was insane. I, I didn't see one. I watched so many train demos for VP to see what they're all about. They didn't really throw even one of their I slow takes. To, like, Not they, at all. They knew like, the economy was in their favor. They could just run around and utilize that. Well, very well played. Very well read. Three Kevlars here, smokes, two smokes actually on Zeus and Guardian, so they opt in for the grenades. Uh, three Kevlars actually for the CTs, one kit onto Neo, and Taz spotting here in lower. Guardian takes the first shot, Taz smartly will back off, try to get to a better position. And Guardian with his mint kimono, that gun is sick. I'm going to have to buy one right after this. Maybe even during this, let's see. Guardian trying to find an opening. And uh, two on the inner bomb site. We saw Navi actually put three on their pistol round, like right off the start, expecting a, a quicker rush. Pasha trying to. Oh, Whoa! There it is! With that P2K bringing down Edward real fast, that man advantage. And we can see two towards Ivy for Navi. And it looks like, I mean, he's backed off far enough, maybe kind of reading into this, expecting it. Having seen the mid room, no one is there. And Bialy! His yes. gun is spotted first, but he still flicks to the headshot for Flamey. Absolutely insane. I have no idea how he got away with that, but Seize does take down Pasha. Yes, he gets a two-man as well. Taz going down. Guardian takes down Snacks. And now it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Neo versus Seize. Bomb is yet to go down here, and they're going to be ringing around the Rosie here on the bomb site. And he's going to be left with 20 HP. Seize knows he has to win this round. And Neo does it. Takes him down. What a crazy round that was. And that's going to be fantastic stuff for VP. And what a strong position they are in now. Doesn't get much closer than that wow. on the pistol round. The 1v1, some some heroics there for Neo to close it out. Bialy as well, that flick shot was insane. I can't believe and he got away with that. He was Pasha. just like, he looked like his AFK is looking towards the outside bomb site. He looked, they could see his gun as well. It looked like they had the one shot in yeah. It turned around 90 degrees, one bullet. Uh, phenomenal stuff from him. Pasha opening the round up yet again with a great P2000 one bullet. We saw him do that in overpass as well. He's in some great form right now. It's great to see him bounce back after some recent events they've had at the face here and um, Gfinity as well. We'll have Hiko break down the quick reactions there from Bialy when yeah. we throw it back <laughs> down. Uh, all right, so Navi forcing up here. Makes a bit more sense, uh, I guess, from their side on the on the terror side. It's very easy to storm onto this B site and get the bomb down and get some extra money back for you know having spent all of this on the armor. Uh, grenade, though, goes in, lights up Zeus. And here we see now, again, they like the submachine guns a lot, but at least on this map, they're playing close up with it. And Taz here, uh, able to get one, finally will fall. And a three on three, just like that. But uh, Snacks now coming in with a FAMAS, finds the double. It is now, again, just Guardian. This P250 may look amazing. 
but I don't think it's going to help him out of this 1v3. No, there's not really much you can do. They know his position. They're going to probably just keep one person on the inside, bomb side, just playing very far back, ensuring he doesn't plant. Um, this is what VP plays so well. They actually utilize the submachine guns perfectly. They have one rifle to kind of anchor them, stay at the back, rotate and help them out. And uh, the SMGs can do real work here. The Guardian on the upper bomb side here won't be able to do anything at all. And he gets shut down. And this is where it gets very difficult for Navi. You can see their money there. Will they opt to do? Hopefully they don't force by here. Take a full eco, for the love of God. Do not, <laughs> do not try and force this one again. You're not going to win the round. The best thing they can try and hope for here is, is somehow getting a bomb down. I would say just rushing inside again could be a good call just because they got a couple of kills there. Get it, Rush inside, get a bomb down at least, and it's, that's a perfect round for them in this whole situation. Yeah, plant would be fantastic for Navi, able to get a nice solid round. 19 will be the first rifle. Still some submachine guns in here. And actually, P250 and 5.7 for Bialy and Neo, who went down and aren't opting to, to buy into anything else. Guardian, though, has gone out. He's actually pretty far down, but Passion now finding two there. Must have been a little bit lined up, and now a third as he turns around with this P90. And there it is. Flawless. For VP, everyone lives. VP looking very strong right now. And one thing to know is that Navi kind of have to buy this. They, they can't afford to get the AWP out. So they'll be relying on the full rifle setup. Um, this, this is kind of a good decision. I'd like them to just utilize a set piece here, get, get themselves in a position where they can get the wall of smokes down, get a bomb plant down. And like you can see that VP, this is a time to get around for Navi. They've got, they've kept the SMGs. If, if VP win this one, they're going to have so much money. It's going to be impossible to play against. So this is a must win round for Navi right now. If they lose against the, the MP7 and the P90, something's going horribly wrong. Well, the P90 I'm okay with. The MP7 is a little less uh, proficient up against those armored riflers, but let's see. Neo finds that opener, and Taz coming in with the MP7 has to do nothing. He will spot the bomb, and hey, oh got himself an AK. So goodbye, MP7. Pasha still with the P90, and this round starting off as a disaster. No other way to put it here for Na'Vi. They were all so far from that bomb as well. Uh, they're trying to make their way back over. It's going to be Guardian to come out first. Some smoke still down. I, I don't think he wants to kind of chance it around the smoke. Edward, though, will find Pasha outside. Took a lot of damage for it. 92, down to 8 HP right now, and Bialy still holding on to the back of the bomb train. Uh, he might actually get flanked around. There is a player there. It's kind of flamey on the back lines, and there he will find him. So Bialy to fall, and Navi crawling slowly back into it, uh, starting this from a 5 on 3, right? So. Yeah, it's Even kind of interesting when impressive. you've got the bomb down here, how you've actually managed to give away a couple of frags like that. They keep Smokey off the bomb perfectly. I don't know. All you need to do is hold the, hold the flank. You don't need to face them oh. at all. And another frag going in favor of Navi. Guardian picks up a headshot and the snacks there. And all of a sudden, oh, okay. Neo picks up his third frag of the game. Uh, and it's going to neutralize things a little bit. But Guardian does sneak away with the, the bomb. bomb. And he'll come down ladder very quickly to outside. And man, they're making a sweat up here on these rounds. Coming so close. Bomb will go down. It is a, a 1v2, with both of them coming in through. And he'll him. take it. Happening. He gets the 1v1. Now it's up to Taz, forced to clutch here. He's trying to peek around outside, oh. and he will get it. I thought Guardian had that. He had a great position on the, the CT there, opening up that first frag. Taz locked onto the bomb side there. You expect a Guardian to take that one. But what a fantastic round from uh, Neo that was. A lot of people have been criticizing his AWP. Like we, saw the, we had a quick look at the forums last battle, and he said, oh, what's, what's Neo doing with an AWP? But he just absolutely won that round for them there. Three huge frags, locked down the bomb as well. And I feel like VP made that a lot harder for themselves than they had to. Yeah. Like giving away those frags outside, you really didn't need to. You just need to completely strong arms, the, the inside bomb side, hold the flanks, and make them work for those picks. It seemed like they were trying to close it out a little bit too quickly for my liking. But there we go. It's going to the 14th round in favor of VP now. Five AKs, four now. Even they've got three specs to play with, nothing else really. It's going to be a very difficult round for them to even get the bomb down. Yeah, let's see how this rifle will go. We see some aggression coming in from VP on inner. And Pasha pushing out towards Ivy. Looks like he just doubles this, uh, oh, some sure. symmetry, right? He plays it on T side and CT yeah. side, just locking down Ivy in the initial pick. And because of that, we saw the though. inner. Taz didn't even have to go in, and Snacks is going to find another. And the round, once again, falling apart. Another 3v5 that Na'Vi is going to be faced with. This is just looking a little bit boring for Pasha now. He's just not even getting yeah, any sort I of don't. attention whatsoever. He's just facing every angle he wants, taking people out from 100 meters. And now he's got the bomb there in the T-spawn area. Na'Vi have two men left uh, before he goes to match point. And this next frag's going to be so important. Pasha, <laughs> of course, he picks it up. The form he's in right now, he's not going to miss those ones. See, he's going to be the last man remaining here. Three on one situation, bomb down in T-spawn. Time is ticking away. And uh, he's going to be locked in his connector area here. He's going to, as long as VP don't have a shocker like they did at last land, the, the rain one on four situation, they should be fine here. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, Pasha's just been walking around on these maps like I, I thought Navi was good. Like that's what people were saying. And Pasha just running out here with doubles, triples every round. He got the ace on over for some reason. They're and not... he's the player that's always criticized the most too, and he's just absolutely destroying. And you can see here, yeah, desperate last attempt to get back into this game. I think we all know this one is over. When you've got a scout, a P90. And Flamey kind of deciding how he's going to approach this one into Galil. Oh, and a Galil. Against such a VP side, and they've got 10 rounds to play with. Like, you, you, you think this one might be already be done. Like, it is turn, doing this as a formality now. Rush inside for the rest of the thing. Let's just end this one now. So he's going to try to get the entry, but it's Neo there. Very, very close. We saw Guardian with some success oh, yeah. there. The uh, One of the five rounds that Navi has. Taz now also locking it down on that lower train, spraying. I'm not sure how spammable that top bar of the bomb site is, but it doesn't matter. The players are falling against Edward all by himself. One jumping scout shot onto <laughs> Snacks, the and finished. they're done. Yeah, they've... This is a That's kind of rude. Like, at, least, at least the teammate finished the round. <laughs>